Hello, Tracy here. How are you all? Welcome back to my channel. So today um, we're going to play with a kit from um, Kerry's shop at Wick Witchcraft Do You Do. This is a tag kit. Um, I will link it down below. Um, also, I had a lovely message from Kerry asking if I would uh, be a designer for the next few months and use some of her kits. So today we're going to do a tag kit. Um, so in this tag kit you get two different sizes, um, some really pretty tags to use. So I'm just going to basically play, it's Ephemera Saturday, um, had my infusion on Thursday, so um, it's just basically nothing's planned. I've got out some because I do buy a bit from Kerry occasionally, um, I've just grabbed some lace from her shop that I got. Um, I'm going to carry on with the grungy type, like there's so much here. Um, I'll probably carry on and use some of that in the tags. So the first um, uh, tags that I want to do, I use the smaller tags. I've cut them so they're like this and what I have done so I've already prepared some but I just wanted to show you what what I did with them um, so what I did was folded it in half snipped the two edges to make it into a tag shape and then what I did was glue across there and across there and I before I glued it down, I put a, um, a thumb notch in there. So basically, this is what we've got. Um, so I've got three here ready to go. And then what I did, we'll, we'll decorate these first. But then I'll show you what I actually used. I actually used another tag from the kit to put little uh, notes in there. So I grabbed these three cuties from another one of Kerry's kits, Vintage Bits and Pieces, set two. So I wanted to grab those and then all I am going to do is layer up some of this yummy goodness. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get cracking and inking. So I think maybe her on there. Um, yeah, so how have you all been? Like I said, I went in for my second infusion in two weeks. Well, it's not really an infusion. It's my medication they pump into me. So I went into that on Thursday. Um, pretty much slept as soon as I came home. Slept all night. Slept all day yesterday. Um... And then I'm up for a few hours today just to um, get my body back into not sleeping. Um, yeah, so all is well. We, well, I am, yeah, slowly feeling not so tired. Um, what else in this kit? So in this vintage bits and pieces in the kit, um, I will do another video next weekend showing you that. But we have a small um, like little numbers and things, so I've already pre-cut one of them out for this little girl. Um, yeah, so infusion that's me done for for six months, and then then we'll go back and get some more done. But I actually want a bit of colour behind there. A bit of red. Yeah, that's it. So let's glue this down. So I am mid journals at the moment. I finished Cats with Careers. I'm sort of undecided. Well, I've got a few ideas that I want to do. Um, 
so but I will need to go online and find some kits I'm thinking maybe a baby girl and a baby boy since I've got those ruffles and I'm quite keen to use them I've only got one baby journal at the moment so it's good to have a few in, in stock for especially now my girls are at the age where their friends are having you know getting married having kids um, they make great gifts and I've got a lady who bought three of my journals which was very exciting about oh, about a month ago well she's just bought another three so I actually get to meet her today she's coming to pick them up so that's really exciting put her on there and where does this need to go probably put her up a little bit too high I'm not sure I'm wanting that label now um, we could put a little bit of yeah I think that's quite nice along there let's do that do we need four or three let's do three this is called this lace from Kerry oops might help if I um, put it between the scissors to cut it yes I'm excited to meet her and then no doubt I'll be pretty knackered I've just we've just been to um, a local garden shop Right, let's put that aside for now. And I want to make these other two and then I want to show you what I did for the cards using the same kit. Um, tags. Um, yeah, went to the garden shop, went and got four bags of compost. Um, it's a bit of scrap. I like the little thing at the top. It's pretty cool. Don't think he needs lace at all. What else have we got here? There's a bit of green. Um, getting sidetracked, aren't I? What was I saying? Yeah, I got some compost for the garden because I am going to... Oh, I like that, that bit there. That was from a bit of a piano roller thing. Um, compost to fill out a new garden that I'm doing it presently doing at the moment and I'm trying to decide whether I want uh, Logan berries blackberries or ras oh no I've got raspberries blackberries or uh, what was the other one blackberries, boysenberries or Logan berries I'm sort of undecided on On what to um, what I actually want to put in the garden I'm just wondering whether a bit of contrast in color maybe this one here I don't know where my big scissors are I was using them to cut stuff out in bed yeah, so that's, um, for me, that's exciting, like getting out out in the garden again. It's winter time, but you wouldn't think it. Let's have him standing on there like that. Um, yeah, you definitely wouldn't think that it's winter time at the moment. It's beautiful out there. So I'm hoping it's like that tomorrow. I need to start trimming my apple trees and getting rid of all the water shoots on them. Have them all nice and ready for their spring growth and buds and things. Yes, I'm not sure whether I'll do 
a baby girl, baby boy journal. Um, and then we'll just put him on there like that. Who knows? I do have an idea just to do a um, winter, autumn, spring sort of journal. It's two, and let's do this little cutie. Just. And we'll do muchy muchy the same, although let's use up this this don't want to put that right down there. Make my eyes focus. Feel like I need a strip. Actually, I know something that I got from Harry's store. Can I find it? Is the thing. It was like almost like a piece of measuring tape. Let's have a look. I've got like a whole thing over to the side of Kerry's um, stuff. Actually, you know what? She's got some really like different size doilies. Let's move, use a doily for this fella. that off later. I'm not going to distress around the edges of this, it's quite grungy anyway. Put that there and that there. Looks like a plan. So I have other exciting news too, and since none of um, Mike, or oh, since Mike or his workmates don't watch this, that's probably a good thing. Um, he has got a promotion in his job, so super super stoked. He's now, a, he will be a senior corrections officer. So, yeah, super stoked, happy for him. Um, yeah, it was great news when we found out. He really deserves it. I'm just trying to see if. I need something along the bottom of there. I could actually do a little bit of lace along there too. Doesn't matter. I don't care if the lace is like sticking out past. Let's just straighten it up a bit. I just can't have them floating in mid air, that's all. Right. Now. For inside. So I'll just find in here. So you also get in the cut these planer cards. What I've done is I have cut it down in half, and then what I did. So imagine it on the other side. What I did was cut the tabs off 
So that essentially leaves me so basically like that. So I want three of these. What I will do is just distress around. I want to make sure that it fits in here, which it does. And then what I'm going to do is cut that, cut that, and we're going to make a tab out of the out of the end of the tag, if you get what I mean. Let's just make sure we've got none of that white and it's all matching up. Right. So what we're going to do is basically I want this up here like that. Oops. And then if there's just a little bit, let's just give that a bit of grunginess on the back. And then that will slot in there. Like that. So let's get these other two done. down there, just check on the other side, make sure there's got no white bits. And then once again, put some glue on. Straighten it up. Cool. There's the second one. And for the third one, out of, let me see if I can find, there we go. So out of the vintage bits and pieces, I want to just grab a normal tag from that kit just for something different give that a quick but that's a quick um, easy way to use your tags other than the traditional sort of you know, the traditional sort of tag. You don't you just think outside the box. You don't have to always um, use a tag as a tag. Now, that there needs just needs something down there. So I think I'm going to um, put a number. Just seeing if I've got something else that I can put on there. 
Well, this is also out of the vintage bits and pieces. Actually, where are my big scissors there? I might put a word instead of a number. Let's put gorgeous. Can be one. I feel like I'm very um, shaky today. Could be um, just the medication that I'm on. It takes a little while to settle down, so I do apologise. It makes me feel a little bit unco, but I'll be back to my normal self. We are gorgeous. And we can't have him as beautiful or gorgeous. Um, what can he be? Can't be beautiful. Hmm. I don't know whether I actually want any of these. Be yourself, maybe. So I will link um, the tag kit down below I will also link the vintage bits and pieces even though I haven't fully shown you um, what I'm going to do with that yet but this is the tag kit um, like I said you get different sizes um, I will probably go along and so you know I've already cut out some same concept just different size leave that side to write on and then this side to decorate so this can actually be like paper clipped in or you could just put it into a pocket you can write on the back and then you've got journaling space on in the inside um, or you could just use them as traditional tags and cut it there and just use the card you know just use the back to to write on and decorate the front but I quite like the idea of extra journaling space um, I will also link a code down below if anyone um, would like to this digi for 25% off. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you to Kerry for letting me have a play with your kits. I'm definitely going to enjoy playing around with them. Um, and until next time, have a great weekend. Catch you later.